In this video, what we're going to be looking at is all the different areas within the machine that we need to clean to keep it in tip-top condition. We're now going to have a look at how we clean the machine and make sure that it's in tip-top condition. Okay, the key areas that we want to be looking at are the inside of the machine, so underneath the platform, around the gantry, and also the fans that are going to be operational every time the machine's turned on. Okay, so let's have a deeper dive and look at how we're going to clean each one of those different sections. So what we want to do is have a look underneath the platform and make sure if there's any loose bits of material because that can cause us a whole series of problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the machine, grab hold from either side of the platform and just pull up and lift that up there. If there's any resistance or tension, just try once or twice. Don't put a massive amount of force on. If there is a major issue, you can just turn the power off and that will allow you to, to move the platform freely. Because the machine's open, we then have little bits of dust particles and things like that that can land onto the gantry and again inside the machine. So as you can kind of see at the side of the bars, there might be some little bits of dust that just build up. So what we want to do is just go in and give those a quick wipe off so that then when we re-oil the axes, we don't cause any excess damage by introducing foreign particles in there. So we perform that for the bars that go through the print head, but we also do it for the ones that go through the body as well on the side here. And again, just giving those a quick wipe and making sure that there's no excess debris on there. As we do the bars that go through the print head, we also do the ones that go through the body here on the side of the machine and the front of the machine. They again will accrue a little bit of dust particles on there, so we want to make sure that we give those a quick wipe through as well. As you can see on the machine here, we now have a little bits of particles within the fan here. And again, as that builds up, what we don't want to do is cause any excess restrictions. So what we want to do is go into here with some tweezers and we can just start to pick off those dust particles again and make sure that we get those out of the way. And just repeat that for the blades on the fans on both sides of the print head. And there's also one on the back that can also accrue a little bit of dust as well. The last thing that we need to focus on in terms of cleaning the machine is the build table at the bottom here. So because it's glass, again, it's very susceptible for fingerprints, for dust, for oils, for greases, anything like that. And also if we do use glue or any other kind of adhesive while we're printing, that again can build up and cause us more problems. So in order for us to clean this, what we'll do is we'll take the plate out like so. When we remove this, a good tip is to pull it from the back center forward rather than lifting it up like so, just so we don't put any excess pressure on the clips at the back. As we take this away, we'll then go and clean this with warm soapy water, towel dry, and then that can go back into the machine and we're ready to print again. Now we've got a clean plate. We've done this with just a dish sponge and some warm soapy water, nothing too abrasive, so we're not gonna cause any scratches or scuffs to the platform. When we load this back into the machine, what we wanna do is make sure that this sticker is this side up. To load this back into the machine, being careful to make sure that we're only handling this from either the underside or the edges, so that we're not gonna dirty up that side that we've just cleaned. As we load that back in, again, taking care to make sure that we don't touch the top of the platform and again cause any distortion, lock those clips in position and then we're ready to go. So it's that easy to keep the machine clean. Keeping it clean is going to prevent a whole lot of issues that can bite you in the bum later down the line. 